Today we're gonna be talking about secret zombies maps that are lost and forgotten by everyone. And I mean really, we do not hear about them. There are three zombies maps that were just ideas that were thrown into different, or I should say multiple different zombies maps here and there. And of course, these are only the ones that we know of. But for sure in the back end of Treyarch, there will be more than just them. And there's particularly only one map that was scrapped entirely that we never got to see. And perhaps there are possibilities that we may see it back sometime in the near future. Hey, maybe in the next Treyarch title in 2018 that we're just gonna call it Black Ops 4 for now as we do not have its name revealed. So we're just gonna call it Black Ops 4 for now. Now these secrets and Lost Zombies maps are something that we've been hearing for years. Once in a while here and there, just a little bit, but there was never an interview done where a developer would sit down and would discuss in detail about them. And that happened, luckily, around DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles release time. Jason Blundell gave us a lot of juicy information and upon hearing that, we know that these maps and ideas were in fact real and a lot of them were thrown into multiple different Zombies maps to make sure they are complete and focus on the Zombie storyline. And we know what idea went where. There were three ideas that we somehow got aware of. There was an idea for the Coast Zombies map, Cinema Zombies map and the legendary Boy Oh Boy, the Paris Zombies maps. There were a lot of ideas. The Coast Zombies map got merged with Call of the Dead, Cinema got merged with Kinother Toten, and Kinother Toten was originally going to be a DLC for Zombies map for WAW Zombies. Sorry I cannot call the game by its name uh, just because we're on YouTube and Papa YouTube is listening if you get what I'm saying and all the symbols and everything like that that I cannot name either were on Kino when it got released with Black Ops 1 and there was a new map called uh, 5 that we also saw with Black Ops 1 at launch. Now, I wonder what if Kinother Toten wasn't pre-made uh, for WAW Zombies? Would we still see the trend of two Zombies map at launch with Treyarch titles? Uh, I don't know, but it's definitely became a thing now, which is really damn awesome. So the Reese was the map made for WAW Zombies as the, the last DLC 4, and of course Kino was merged with Cinema Theater, the historical symbols and everything like that, and there was this map, the map that would have based off of Paris, it was scrapped entirely and its features and ideas were thrown into multiple different Zombies maps. Now, the ideas were that Paris Zombies map had the idea of No Man's Land, it had the Eiffel Tower and underneath it had Teleporter and then there was Catacombs of Paris underneath there and the idea was that you went into kind of Teleporter and the Eiffel Tower was essentially a conduit for the power for it for you to transport to this middle of nowhere where the pack punch was and it's just zombies all coming at you, there's no cover, and it was brutal. Now, this is what Jason Blundell told us. There was an actual Activision blog discussion about this map as well, that when something like this, whatever happened to Paris, most zombie fans will be aware of Paris, the virtually finished map for Black Ops, but was put on hold because of the rush development of Moon for DLC. For I wish we got it upon release with Black Ops 2, with the old crew, and all the features that were planned to be in it, as I would rather that than trans shit. Bit like you know for WAW was put in Black Ops. But if DLC4 is an all zombie pack and it should be, does anyone think we should get Paris alongside any other maps? Seeing as that was hinted since the release and we haven't had it yet. And there was a lot of healthy discussion about it in the reply section of this blog as well. But Jason Blundell told us that Paris map ideas were reworked into Moon. The the No Man's Land became the Area 51. No Man's Land in Moon, the teleporter was present there and of course the, the pack punch was there as well and there would be unlimited spawn of zombies. Like he mentioned, you would teleport to an area, there would be pack a punch and no cover and all of the zombies will spawn in and it would be brutal. There were trenches in the Paris Zombies map that got reworked into Origins later on and we know Origins has a No Man's Land, we know it's based in France, World War Time setting and we know we got trenches in there as well. The Catacombs of Paris was another idea that somehow was reworked in the Rise on Drach, and of course the Rise on Drach was present in Revelation once again. The Eiffel Tower idea was kind of reworked in Transit as we have the Tower of Babel. In Die Rise we have multiple different towers as well. Now I'm sure we do have a tower in Buried. I, I mean the Easter egg kind of correlates with Transit, Die Rise, right? So I mean I'm not totally sure about Buried though, but Buried is kind of like another map that was 
underground because Paris had the idea of underground zombie map, of course catacombs and everything like that. Now, the question is, is it possible for us to see the Paris zombies map in 2018 Treyarch title or in 2021 or maybe in the future? Now with this, we're kind of stuck in the middle. As we know, Treyarch have the assets, the map setting would be unique, but there's things like its ideas and features that were put into several different zombies maps and Jason does not like to do one thing twice as he mentioned briefly in his interview where he actually talked about the Paris zombies map right so it's definitely a very tough question to answer as the setting is unique but ideas are used I could see it's coming only for its setting if somehow it fits the zombie storyline but definitely let me know what do you think in the comments below check out some videos by clicking the end screen card if you miss any of them subscribe if you happen to be new on the channel and if you did enjoy this video hey leave a thumbs up if you like to and I'll catch you very freaking soon